Hey guys, this is Body Biscuits, and this is my video response to TH126's rant on uh, modern and first person shooters. Now, before anybody says that I'm attacking TH or like saying biased things or just like downing on TH, let me just let me let you guys know that TH is like one of my best friends on YouTube. I've known him for like at least six months, a year, or something like that. And uh, I'm just a avid gamer, a avid player of uh, first-person shooters. And since he has his rant on modern first-person shooters, and I still play them and enjoy them like every single day, I thought I'd just put my opinion out there for him. And of course, you guys get to see my ultra suave and sexy self after a few months before the last time I recorded myself, which was like a year ago when I played Platinum or something like that. And that's also kind of another thing that you guys said that I looked like crap from like my 500 subscriber special to that video. So hopefully I look better. I don't know what was wrong with me at that point. Maybe I just looked nerdy. Maybe it was the braces. I still have the braces. They still suck, by the way. Okay, moving on to TH's first point about modern first person shooters and how he says that they are all the same. Now that's one thing that I don't didn't really like about TH's argument is that he didn't really elaborate on this point, which could have been a very valid point, but he just didn't elaborate. He just said that they are all the same. I think what he was trying to get at is that the gameplay was the same and not like the scenery or something, which is obviously different, otherwise my history is completely fucked up. So to TH, if you're watching this, uh, what, I'm what I'm trying to say is that if you explained that point a little bit more instead of just saying, they're all the same, they're all the same, they're all the same, I'm not trying to nag on you, I'm just saying that it would have made it a lot easier for the common viewer who, uh, who has the attention span of a squirrel, it would have made it a lot more uh, easy for me to understand. Now, moving on to TH's next point about uh, how for a game to be uh, unique these days that they shouldn't be a shooter. Now, my guess is what he's alluding to is that uh, shooters nowadays have done everything possible you could have done with a shooter. Like, there's nothing more you can do uh, with just shooting people, pretty much. And I'm not necessarily sure that that's true because, uh, for example, Mario. Mario going through uh, the world of wherever he was, I'm sorry, I didn't do my research, but Mario going through his world, saving uh, all the Toads and saving Princess Peach and uh, defeating Bowser, uh, that obviously wasn't enough. He also did stuff like Mario Golf, Mario Kart, Mario Baseball, Mario Racing, Mario Track, you know, all these different Mario games, so obviously you know, Mario could have done, Mario did a lot more than just going through castles and saving the princess. So my guess is that if Mario can do all these different types of games, then any kind of game can do that. Now am I saying that uh, shooters are going to be playing tennis at the same time that they are shooting people up? No, I'm not saying that, but I am saying that there are plenty of possibilities that shooters haven't quite done yet and are still available to be done. Now, I will agree with you on the part where you're saying that uh, shooters nowadays are mostly only for multiplayer and they have completely sucky campaign. I will agree with you on that. For example, uh, Halo 1 obviously was played on a Halo, a super destructive weapon that could take out uh, galaxies light years away. Uh, it was played on that setting, and Halo 3 it was played everywhere but a Halo. It was played on Earth. It was played on an Ark. Only one level was played on a Halo, and that was at the very end. And obviously, I don't think that's enough. A few other things that made Halo 1 uh, a little bit more unique than the modern shooters out there nowadays is uh, most of the enemies were a little different than uh, the enemies that you fight in Modern Warfare. Like, for example, you have a Grunt, Jackal, Elite, Hunter. You have all these different enemies to fight against, while in Modern Shooters, it's just the same soldier. The, a, a soldier is the same exact thing as another soldier. I mean, there's, there's no variety between them, so it, there's not really a reward from fighting that enemy because it's the same thing as fighting another enemy. You just shoot him. With a jackal, you have to use strategy to get past its shield, and with an elite, you have to play tactically, otherwise you're going to get destroyed by its brute force. And another thing was that it was different, the setting. 
I mean, obviously, it's in the future, and it's on a completely different world, different from ours, which made us refer to ours, but it wasn't the same exact one as ours. I mean, playing in Russia or playing in South America or something, it's, it's not as compelling as playing somewhere light years away from our own very existence. Now, about the split-screen multiplayer part, uh, I think the, th the big idea that you were trying to get behind it is that playing with friends and people that you know is a lot more enjoyable than playing someone that you have no idea where they live, who they are, how old they are, or something like that. It's just a lot more fun. But, it is possible to get that on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. If you make friends on there, or you know some people that play Xbox Live or PlayStation Network, you can play with them, and it is a lot more fun than just playing by yourself. I mean, granted, playing by yourself is pretty fun, but it isn't as fun as playing with people that you know, and there is that possibility on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. Now, the next thing that you said is that uh, no one is going to be happy every single time that they play a first-person shooter online. Well, granted that... Uh, some games are challenging and they aren't absolutely perfect, you aren't going to have uh, fun every single time that you play a game. But, uh, I mean, I can definitely say that on Modern Warfare 2, uh, every single time you got on the game, you got angry at the game, which is definitely not a good game, or not a good game to play if you are not having a good time uh, every single time you play. But of course you should have a mixture of it and you aren't going to have fun every single time that you play a first person shooter. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but I mean there are points where people do have to win and other people do have to lose. So there obviously are going to be, be, be people that are going to have fun and not going to have fun. Now I will agree with you that uh, a lot of first person shooters are there, are out there to make money. And this kind of goes back to my uh, like thoughts about human nature as a whole. Like, I mean, money is going to attract a lot of people, and if you are able to make money off of something, then you most likely will. I mean, like, the developers of Halo uh, obviously were out there to make money, but they had no idea that they were going to make as much money as they did with this first game. So obviously, when they made this first game and they made all this money, they were going to go out there and make more money, but uh, not necessarily with the awesome production value as the uh, first game, which leads to the half-ass game of half-ass campaign of Halo 3 and making it more focused on multiplayer, which is the new thing nowadays. And one last little small point is that you said that people play shooter games to be macho and, you know, manly and all that. Well, not necessarily. Uh, a lot of people play shooters just to shoot things and have fun. I mean, you should uh, take in take for granted the fact that shooting things is actually pretty fun. I mean, you're not, you usually aren't able to shoot a gun unless you have a permit or something, but going online or going into a game and actually shooting things while you're not able to in real life is pretty damn fun. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, don't be offended, don't think that I'm trying to attack TH, you know, or his opinion and down it and say that it's completely wrong. This is just my opinion, and since I play a lot of first-person shooters, I thought I would go out there and defend my opinion since uh, his opinion kind of contradicts mine, and I wanted to put mine out there to uh, see if it was right or not. And please, please do not go to TH's account or his channel or something like that and say that he's a fag or he's stupid for saying first-person shooters are stupid because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just putting my opinion out there. I'm not trying to attack him. So for the people that think that I'm right and think that he's stupid, don't think that because in reality, you're the one that's stupid. Anyway, this was just a response to TH's video and just another video for me to put out there. And uh, 4,000 subscriber special. It's slow in editing just because I recorded an AVI file and Sony Vegas doesn't really work well with AVI files for some reason. Or maybe it's just my computer, but uh, you should be seeing that soon. Anyway, peace.